And now for what you all came to see, we're very pleased to present to you the 2017 State of the Town Address. Thought we'd give you a little flavor of what's going on in town. Good afternoon. I'm Mayor uh, Scott Nassif for the town of Apple Valley. I want to thank Bob uh, Tinsley, of course, as you know him, as your uh, chairman of the board for the uh, Apple Valley Chamber of Commerce. Many of you may not know he's actually my planning commissioner for the last 15 years, sits on the fire board for many years, and, uh, and my mentor and friend, I want to thank you. And little known fact, many people call me up and ask me what's going on in Apple Valley. I actually turn around and call Bob and find out what's going on in Apple Valley. <laughs> I want to also thank the uh, Apple Valley Chamber of Commerce uh, staff, board of directors, Janice, and uh, all the folks and volunteers that work for them for helping your continued support uh, and your leadership when it comes to the uh, state of the town address. We've been doing this for many years and we really enjoy uh, bringing this to, to the chamber and the community and thank you for your support. And leadership is oftentimes a planting a tree under whose shade you will never sit, or planting a bridge that you may never drive across. Today, the town council will share with you the seeds we are planting, the trees we are growing, and the harvest we are reaping that makes Apple Valley strong to the core. Now, speaking of bridges, did you know this marks the 12th year in a row that the state of the town address has mentioned the Yuccaloma Bridge? It's 12 years. <laughs> I think I got the first announcement. 2006, we announced that the council had identified the bridge as our number one transportation project. In 2010, we said we may just miss the groundbreaking at the end of the year, but virtually certain by summer. 2011, in less than three years, you'll be able to drive from here to there. <laughs> then in 2013, we were confident this was a year that the Yuccaloma Bridge. But it's here, it's here. And it's this year, and the Yuccaloma Bridge is open, and I think we have a little video to, uh, to show if any of you haven't driven across it.
I was assured yesterday that there were two people in that car filming that it wasn't the driver <laughs> filming that, even though you saw him kind of weaving around a little bit. The bridge seed was planted more than 50 years ago, and in 2017 we harvested the fruit of that effort. I'd like and we would like to thank the uh, staff, consultants, contractors that brought this uh, project to life and to the council members, past and present, who had the vision to see it through. Talking a little bit more about infrastructure, our roads and infrastructure were the foundation of our stability. We can navigate to work, live, and play as the Yucaloma Br Bridge arose from the river bottom. We also tend to the rest of our system. We budget $2 million a year on microservicing the roads falling into the seven-year treatment cycle. These address the roads identified as the most highest priority based on traffic volume and other factors. Microservicing works on some roads that aren't too bad. The challenge is catching up on the roads that are in fair to poor condition. We need more expensive repairs. For that, we would need nearly $9 million a year to fix those roads. However, our engineering team is constantly seeking cost-effective, life-extending solutions that are available. This year, we microsurface 21 miles of roads and we'll go out to bid this fall for another $2 million to spend. And speaking about money, we're going to talk a little bit about the budget. That's one of the most important things that council and staff work on each year. This town may still be experiencing the effects of the recession from 10 years ago, but we are seeing signs of economic growth, including a 10-year high in single-family permits this year of 270. Town staff continues to seek ways to be more efficient. Our full-time staffing level is 92 employees, a 10-year low, which is much leaner than you'll find in any comparable city or town. Apple Valley prides itself on being innovative and entrepreneurial, producing some amazing accomplishments and services that belie our small staff. We adopted a flat budget this year, 2017-2018, of $81.8 .8 million across all funds with $28.7 million in our general fund. For 14 years, we have earned the Certificate of Achievement for Excellence in Finance Reporting granted to less than 5% of agencies nationwide. And we earned the Distinguished Budget Presentation of the Year from Government Finance Officers of the U.S. and Canada for four years. One way we do more with less is taking advantage of our grant opportunities. We contract out with grant management firm that since 2014 has earned $21 in grant funding for every dollar we have spent, for a total of $3.7 million in grant funds. You'll hear more about these projects throughout this presentation. Even with all these measures, we face some challenging times. Traditional revenue sources such as property and sales tax are not keeping up with costs to provide services. Just like you, the town faces higher costs of fuel, utilities, and insurance, just to name a few. You'll now get a chance to hear from the rest of the council as we look at our efforts to plant those seeds and strengthen our core. Please join me in welcoming the town council with us today, Mayor Pro Tem Art Bishop, Council Member, <laughs> council member Larry Cusack, <laughs> Council Member Kurt Emick, And up next to speak today is Councilwoman Barb Stanton.